smaller at the dependent plateau, it rises, comes up, it's pushed up, and this changes our world completely. So our modern world is mainly pushed by these things. And here you have a nice graph showing this. This is million of years, and this is elevation, and this is how elevation change of the Tibetan plateau through time. We see that around 10 million years it starts to accelerate. And by, by this enormous rise of this Tibetan plateau, we change our climate. Our modern climate is a result of that. Because by having built up this Tibetan plateau, this Himalayan change, uh, you change the atmospheric circulation. The monsoon is starting. The modern monsoon that you are experiencing every year, uh, like to all of us every day, has to do with this. Because suddenly the atmospheric moisture uh, can't uh, go to the continent, it stays in front of, of this mountain change. Yeah, and now we have the Holocene, this is a little of the day, and what we are looking at is this, this part, the Indian Ocean. This is what we are interested in so much. And this is huge. It's more than 70 million square kilometer large. This is enormously large. Uh, because we come from Europe, we try to compare things very often with the Mediterranean, with the Black Sea, uh, with the Paradise the Sea, which was a vanished sea in our region, and then we see, you know, very small compared to the Indian Ocean. But this is really a big basin. But of course, this is some kind of hotspot. That's the reason why you are concerned about the way 